Welcome back, guys. Stop, talk, and roll episode 54. 53? 54. 54. Let's go with it. We'll see. Look in the uh, title. It'll tell you. Um, today we have another one of Shanice's old competition footages from a year ago. Um, so she's gotten a lot better since then. However, um, good to look back on on old footage because you can learn a lot from it. Um, you can learn a, you can learn about things that you used to do that were really good um, that you might not use anymore or might have forgotten about. You can look at things that you used to make or mistakes you used to make and things that you fixed so like you could see growth. And sometimes you can look and see mistakes that you're still making and like, ah, dude, I really need to work on this. Um, and competition helps kind of like bring those things to the forefront, right? Because like, you know, if you get beaten in competition, you're done for the day usually. For Whereas like if you get beat in the gym, you're like, all right, cool. Like, let's just keep rolling, right? That's not what it's like. You drive all this way, you compete, you make a mistake and you lose, and that's your day. So you really want to hole up those holes. Okay, um, actually, before we get into it, if you like the video, like the video, thank you. Uh, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell. I get these episodes out every morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Saturday. If you'd like me to review one of your rounds, please get in touch with me either on YouTube or on Instagram. The information is in the description below. And uh, I'd love to review one of your rounds. Um, thank you so much for all the people that have been submitting. This is obviously a user-submitted roll. Uh, I'm going to try to get some more in this week. Uh, I'm going to try to maybe get like half and half because um, I've, I've been starting to get more and more in. So please, I'd love to get some more. All right. So uh, Shanice, we got in the black gi and uh, she seems to know some of these people, but I've been calling people I don't know Jimmy. So this is Jimmy in the tie-dye gi. Um, yeah. Blue belt. I think Shanice had like just gotten her blue belt. This is a shaky camera. I hope this gets solid. Okay. Uh, we've started in the guard, so that leads me to believe that I don't know the whole round, so I don't know the score at the moment. This is uh, the elusive Jeff, by the way. He's not been on camera yet because his knee's all jacked up. She's climbing to a high guard. That is annoying. Oh, no, don't tell me. Do you get out of this? The video's longer. Ugh. Okay. Let's back up. First of all, I know I mentioned the last video, and I told you a million times in rolling, Heads too far forward. Heads too far forward. Nice posture. Strong posture. Break that grip. Break that grip for sure. Mm -hmm. So she's climbing up into what's called a high guard. I'm terrible at the high guard, but it's a great guard. It's a closed guard, but just above the shoulders. Um, it's good. So initially she goes for an arm bar, you extend, you know not to do that. You should stack an arm bar. You're able to wiggle out. I'm sorry about the quality. She goes for a triangle for a hot second, but then she's omoplata. You turn uh, back into a triangle. You go to, okay, yeah, yeah, you're good. Oh, don't let her get, her, get your head back in. I don't know what quite what she's trying to do at this point, but I would, I would sit, mm, this is, I know you don't do this anymore. So it's like frustrating. I'm like, no, don't do this. <laughs> Push. Uh, uh, okay. I'll let it go. Right there, you should be getting out. Or you go for a sweep. Yeah. The, the second that happens, you got to, whenever you, guys, whenever you're playing, whenever you're trying to pass somebody's guard, a closed guard, if they open the guard, that's your opportunity to like place something in there so they can't reclose the guard. Meaning if I'm playing closed guard and somebody opens their guard, I'm either standing up, I'm backing up, or I'm throwing my knee in the middle. Just something so that if they try to close their guard back up, it's going to be either impossible to do or very difficult to do. And if they do close their guard, it's going to be a very shallow close or loop. So it's not as hard to break open. So passing closed guard, I, I te I'll show it sometime. I literally have one pass that I like um, from the gi, mind you. So you have the first part of it. I like to do it a little bit more on the sternum, so a little bit higher up. And that's a, that I use that as a stiff arm. If they try to sit up, it kind of just like, ugh, like 
right into the into the sternum and then with my other hand i make a grip on the sleeve and what that allows me to do is to step up on this leg and start building height Yeah, like when you have that in the sternum, this is like a non-factor. Yeah, Jeff's trying to guide you to open up the guard too. Yeah, break these grips. Can't let her have that. What you do there, you know how to break them, but you have two hands. You're looking to pry it off. So pull it, pushing them away as you move your body back. Boom, pop it right off. Not like this long game because that, that could be, you know, Be careful digging back because you can put yourself into a triangle. Yeah, that, that works. Yeah, if you keep her like stacked on her side like that, it makes it very difficult. She needs to be able to sit up. Yeah, and she needs to put you down. No, you got out. Good. Uh, turn, turn. Protect your neck. Protect your neck. Protect your neck. You got to protect your neck. You got to protect your neck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I don't mean like that. She needs It's like giving me it anxiety you got to protect your neck protect your neck P protect your neck are you protecting your neck she has both hooks in I mean, you just got four, or she got four. Well, we're going over turtle right now at the gym, so. She shouldn't really be able to finish you from here. She's got to have to turn onto her back. As long as you don't let her get both grips in. She would be looking, she should be looking for collar grips right now, because that's really the only way she's going to get you with her hooks in from here. Without without turning. Looks like she's really trying. So if she has the other grip in, then this could be very dangerous. So what you could look to do here is actually, so this whole time, put your feet on the floor, stack your hips high in the air, and just dump her over you. Um, if she doesn't have a really good grip, which it doesn't seem like she has a great grip, she should just fall off because she has nothing stopping her from staying on your back. Mm, don't flatten out. So stack or er, building height would be the best thing to do. And time, I'm assuming, yeah, those points. Protect your neck, number one. Um, and then opportunities, like you're going to escape the omoplata. You get out. I mean, you got to expect, it's competition. Like she's not just going to sit there. So like right here, like you need to like be fighting. Like that's, you're, I know you move faster than this. You look like you're rolling in the gym, like having fun. Right, like she's she's coming out here attacking, gets around to your neck, like she was, her arm was around your waist, right? Like you had plenty of time to react. I'm being very critical right now. I know you don't would not do this, and you roll fast. I'm just giving you looks from before. Just move, like if you're escaping a position. Any this goes for anybody. If you're escaping a position, or if you're if the position's changing, there's going to be a transition, and in that transition things happen, right? Like lots of things can happen during transitions. It's where like a lot of jujitsu occurs. Um, if you're about to escape, you need to be prepared to move because like things are going to happen very quickly. You're about to get out of this omoplata. You got to be ready to at least just get back to guard. Obviously it's competition. You want to stay on top. You don't give up those points, but even still, you don't want to get your back taken like directly into a choke. Cause then you dealt with that the rest of the time. I don't even know what the score was. She might only have one four zero. I don't know. But good round, good stuff. I'm gi I'm giving you a hard time. I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like when I do these, I feel like I give people a hard time. And then when I watch them back, I'm like, oh, I wasn't that critical. It's fine. 
Um, so I hope I hope you don't take this the wrong way. It's an old video. Like you've gotten so much better at all of these things. So I'm not, you know, I it's it's not like this is more for someone else, right? <laughs> like this helps you, but like you don't really make these mistakes anymore. So um, good work, nice role, nice job. Good job getting out there. Like competing's hard. Um, it's a lot of nerves. Like all these people watching, especially this was like one of the first events after COVID, right? Like back when this was so. This uh, this was this was fun. All right, good work. Thank you for sending it. Please, if you'd like me to review one of your rounds, just send them in. Reach out to me, and uh, we'll figure it out. All right, thank you. Bye.